here? Uh, how'd you get rid of all those reporters? <laughs> I stand for justice, not sound bites. I recently talked about why I love the cast of Boku no Hero so much, and I really believe that this is the foundation for why it works so well. By quickly making sympathetic characters, it's possible to build the rest of the story around them and make it interesting. But I intentionally saved All Might for his own video. This is in part because he is one of my favorite characters in anime, but also because he is a representation for what the show is all about. All Might is the larger than life hero, and everything about him just oozes with the fact that he is a hero. From his muscular body, his smile that assures people everything will be alright, everything he says, and even his ringtone. He is the symbol of peace, a role that he has embodied with every bit of strength that he has. Boku no Hero takes a lot of inspiration from Western superhero stories, and this is shown most prominently with All Might. For one, the fact that he names his smashes after different states is a way of paying homage to where the ideas of his character came from, not to mention his red, white, and blue costume. When he shows up to teach his first class, Deku comments on the fact that he's wearing his Silver Age costume, an age of comics that film theory describes as all about fantasy and optimism, something that fits All Might in the show itself perfectly, and this shows how Hiro Aka was guided by these comics. And the reason the show has the tone and message it does is because of how they show All Might. He touches the lives of many and makes the world a better place. He is known as a symbol of peace not just because of his strength, but also because of his drive to save everyone who needs it, as was shown by him going to help people at the start of the UFJ, or pushing himself beyond his limit to save his students at the end of that arc. And it is easy to see why the people of this world love him so much. And even if this was all there was to All Might, I would still love him and he would be one of my favorite characters in the anime. He reminds me of Kamina from Gurren Lagann, or Ryder from Fate Zero, the characters that are awesome and inspiring to their younger protégés, and are at least part of the reason I like their anime so much. But there is so much more to All Might. Because we see in the second episode, he is far weaker than he appears, wounded several years ago and only able to maintain his muscular form for a few hours a day and be a hero for even less. While he is still incredibly powerful, he doesn't have the brain to strategize, only relying on raw power to win fight. He's shown to be a mediocre teacher as well, letting personal feelings get in the way of his student's safety and pushing Deku too hard so that he hurt himself. He is also burdened with losing his powers and not really wanting to accept that. So All Might is far from the perfect hero, but this is what makes him such a wonderful hero and character. He is someone who is born without a quirk, and someone who we see fail throughout the series in being a mentor to Deku. He is near the end of his time of being a hero, but despite all his limits, he is still constantly doing all he can to make the world a better place, whether it is through educating the next generation or fighting evil with the power he still has left. The reason some love Goku or Superman is because of their strength, but the reason I love All Might is because of his weakness. The world may not be filled with just optimism, but despite that, All Might strives to give people hope. And the world may not be fair, but All Might fights for justice regardless. And he might be scared, but he puts on a smile to give peace to the world. And we see the path of All Might's efforts through the children in the class as they set their sights on being a hero like him. Deku, of course, but also Todoroki and Bakugo. His words from when Todoroki was a child reminded him of his desire to be a hero, to embrace the gifts he'd be given even if he rejected the source of them. And All Might taught Bakugo the determination that being a hero required, and this is the reason Bakugo is so powerful. Despite his flaws, All Might was able to impact the lives of so many others in the story. Something that was just recently pointed out to me is how during the first season, All Might had a booming presence, but in the second season, he is more in the background. But his impact on the world is still there through his students and those he inspired. He is like Kamen and Gurren Lagann. He starts off being a rallying point for the entire cast, but once his role is diminished, he is still an inspiration to everyone, and those who he inspired did more than he ever could have himself. You can see this through the battle against the hero killer Stain, how instead of All Might showing up to save the day, it was instead Deku and Todoroki, those who he inspired. And early on in the story, Deku is shown to be obsessed with the video of All Might's debut where he saves countless people. And while not quite the same, there is a video on All Might of the battle between him and Nomu that fills me with the same types of awe. 
And one of the comments of the video says it best. They're constantly rewatching this fight like Deku did with All Might's debut. In Deku's video, he sees a hero who isn't afraid of anything, and he's saving countless people's lives with his power, something that is incredibly moving. But the battle with Nomu is something even greater because, yes, All Might is using his power to save people, but now Deku and the viewers see that All Might isn't invincible or fearless, but he is still fighting a way for justice to prevail regardless. And that is why All Might is one of my favorite characters in all of anime, and again, one of the many reasons why I love this show.